Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are now in version 0.23. And the mods aren't broken! Hooray! I was really worried that the mods would be broken and I'd have to put the series on hold for a pretty, pretty decent amount of time. Fortunately, we don't have to. So, what am I doing right now? Well, right now, I am revisiting making communication satellites. Because I was told... <coughs> pardon me. I was told that I did have the ability to get these reflectrons, which you would need in order to make drone satellites work initially. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Apparently you just go back to your research thing and you look at the things you've already researched because it's probably in the category that you researched once before. I did not know that, so... <laughs> Thank you, Squeaky Mouse. <laughs> I am constantly learning new things about this game. I don't know what I want to do for my satellites, though. I'm toying with the idea of making a satellite delivery vehicle, which will go up, place the satellites in the proper orbits in one trip, and then come back, or not doing that. I don't know. It's a difficult thing to decide. I'd like to do it in one trip because that means it's less work for me to do, or less launches for me to do, but I might not work very well like that. The thing is the satellites don't really need any fuel. The only fuel that they're going to need is possibly monopropellant, which is pretty light. I can get away with that. I, I probably can just use the tiny tanks. And we do have tiny fuel tanks too, so it's not like I need to make huge satellites. Okay, so the satellites are going to need a drone part each. And they're also going to need solar panels. And let's see, right mouse button work. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's two per second, so 120 per minute. Okay. Which is one of the things that we're going to need to take into consideration because we're going to need to have like this reflectron or this com DTS. So which one is it that we want? This is very long range. Okay. Energy required 1.64 charge per second. So, our new solar panels are going to be able to handle that pretty, pretty much on their own. Like, it'll take one panel per. This is a dish that's got lar a lot more range than these. Sorry if this is a little bit boring, I'm trying to figure this stuff out. And See, this one's talking about cone angle, so is this one. This cone angle is a lot smaller than this one. You know, what if I put 
this and this on. Like, this can be... I don't know, this could point out to space, I suppose? I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. <laughs> I don't... I don't understand what I'm doing. And that is a problem. Alright, Kerbins, I'm not sure that you got the guy, the best guy qualified for making a satellite. Because things are probably going to go horribly wrong. But I will do what I can. So we are going to use these, I believe. And it'll be like this. wide panels. And they can get set up like this. Batteries. I'm forgetting the batteries. Hopefully more batteries than it actually will need. Alright, then we'll take this and put it on this side. And it will look slightly balanced. And that, I believe, is going to be our satellite. Of course, we also need to add our thruster blocks. These things need an SAS thing, don't they? I forgot. Let's see. It is SAS equipped. Good. So it will point in the direction that it needs to go. Where the center of mass is on this thing. Not that it really should matter too much, because once we get into the position it needs to be in, it shouldn't need to do anything. I hope. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get the rest of this rocket built and then I'll meet you out on the launch pad. Well, this is a fairly unusual bug. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I have to redo this all. I saved it! And loaded it. And it does this every time. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe the mods are broken? <laughs> I'll rebuild this thing from scratch, I suppose. How is the best... Oh, no. <laughs> Restarting. Um... Oh, boy. Well, it's quite possible that the mods are either broken or I need to restart. Start from scratch. I cannot even control anything right now, so. Uh.
Well, this kind of concludes this little series a little bit. I, I'm not going to be done playing KSP, but this particular save is now gone for good. Darn it. And there might not be another KSP video up for a little while then, because I'm going to have to play some catch-up, and... I'd rather not do a whole bunch of stuff I've already done on camera. So, I'm going to get up to a point similar to where we were at, and then we will continue on with the series, probably under a new name. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed my series so far. Actually, before I sign off, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to try seeing if making a new world is broken, because... If that's broken, then it's possibly the mods that are breaking the game. Which I would hope that they're not, because none of the mods are updated yet, as far as I'm aware. So if none of the mods are updated and I'm not able to make a new world... go with the uh, random one for now, but I'm probably not going to save this one. Okay, let's make a quick vehicle. And launch it. And if it falls through the world again, then the mods broke something. Good news! The world's not broken. I guess that means I'm starting from scratch, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. And come back and watch the next career mode I start up. And hopefully we'll do things a lot better. God darn it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye.